What's up guys, my name is Hello Cool Play, and in today's video, we're going to be breaking down the new Automatron trailer for Fallout 4. This trailer, I feel, puts a lot of the rumors to rest about the Mechanist and his involvement in the DLC. But with all that said, let's jump right into it. This was the third time we've been attacked by robots like these. It's time to uncover the source and confront their leader. I ask your assistance in stopping this mechanism. In the very beginning of this trailer, we are confronted by what appears to be a custom-made robot that says, This is the third time we've been attacked by robots like these. It's time to uncover the source and confront their leader. I ask your assistance in stopping this mechanist. To me, it sounds like these robots are asking you to wage a war with the mechanist. But from what we've heard so far, and from what we've seen, it sounds like they are already at war. What suggests their negative and warlike conflict with the Mechanist is the fact that they have dead bodies of robots hanging in one room. Whether these are the dead bodies of the servants of the Mechanist or the dead bodies of the Freedom Fighters, we have no idea. But this is just another point for speculation until the actual DLC comes out. Once again, in this clip from the trailer, we get a great look at how the robot customization is actually going to work. Looks like we're going to be able to build these robots using stations. And I wonder how many parts it's going to take to build this one, Bethesda. Also, in the background, we hear a voice saying, You see junk, I see the building blocks of life. Mine in particular. This voice is a very unfamiliar voice. We've never heard this voice before. Now, the voice that we heard in the beginning of the trailer, we identified as one of the protagonists that we're going to be following along with the sole survivor. But there's speculation going on about how this voice may be the voice of the antagonist, the Robobrain. But we'll just have to wait to find out. The final confrontation awaits. I only hope we both live to see it. The next clip says, the final confrontation awaits. I only hope we both live to see it. This is a direct reference to our confrontation with the Mechanist. It's confirmed that he's in the game, in fact we even see him in the trailer. I must say he's playing a much bigger role than he was in Fallout 3 when he was just a mere easter egg. Now there's theories about whether he is Derek from Fallout 3, or even if he's a woman. We don't even know what gender the Mechanist is. These are things we'll only find out when we rip the mask off the Mechanist ourselves. A couple of the things that this trailer highlights for us is how your robotic companions are going to be behaving in terms of combat. The first one we're going to be going over bears the head of an Assaultron and wields a flaming sword. Which just goes to show you how deep the level of customization is inside this DLC. With the combined power of a Assaultron head and a flaming sword, this robot seems almost impossible to beat. But they have to find a way to balance this somehow, so I can imagine there will be weak points and robots such as these will not be extremely overpowered. They will be able to be overcome. The next thing we're going to be going over is a weapon, and this weapon bears a similar resemblance to the Mr. Handy Arm and is said to function similarly to a Ripper in Fallout 4. Although this weapon does not have a revealed name yet, it does look pretty awesome. It seems like the only way we'd be obtaining this melee weapon would be scrounging around for Mr. Handy Saws and basically putting it together. Which demonstrates perfectly the amount of resourcefulness that they're bringing into this update. I can't wait. This next weapon is one I'm calling the Assaultron Ray, for the obvious reason that it is a handheld Assaultron head in the form of a gun. I can only imagine how much damage this weapon will do. It's going to be catastrophic. One other thing that we get to see in the screenshot is the fact that the Soul Survivor is wearing an iBot helmet, which is directly demonstrative of the fact that you can now wear robotic armor. Next we see the Lightning Chain Gun. On the Bethesda blog, the lightning chain gun was said to be something that only your companions could use, or at least it seemed that way. But in this trailer we get to see that you as the protagonist and the sole survivor get to use this weapon. I can see this weapon doing an insane amount of damage because of the fact that it arcs from one enemy to another. This weapon is going to be particularly wild. And now it's time for the final clip of the trailer, let's take a look. Now you'll face the full light of the mechanist. Come on, 
In that clip, we hear the Mechanist say, Now you will face the full might of the Mechanist. Come, my robots, let's finish this. This, I believe, will be something that the Mechanist will say at the end of the main quest line. When he says this, you will have to fight his robots, and after you defeat his robots and uncover the Mechanist's identity, that is when the main quest line will end. Ladies and gentlemen, if you like my video, please leave a like, and if you're new to my channel, subscribe for all the latest and greatest Fallout 4 content. Keep it locked to my channel, LL Cool Play. My name is LL Cool Play, and I'm out. Peace!